Today, Notion has officially launched Notion Calendar. I'm gonna tell you why this is a really awesome calendar that you should use, and also why this was a complete fumble on the Notion team and not at all a good launch. On January 1st, Notion cleared out their entire Instagram feed and opted to start a countdown for 17 days. So, people were making wild assumptions, all the way from actually guessing correctly with some sort of calendar app or integration to a donut delivery service. So, the comments were pretty wild and a lot of people just wanted some basic functionality updates such as the ability to use offline mode or a true like Android app or better iPad integration. However, about a week before the actual launch date, Notion leaked Notion Calendar and it was originally assumed that maybe it was on purpose and more was coming, but it is now apparent that more is not coming. It is truly Notion Calendar and that's what launched. Now, this didn't come as a surprise to most Notion users because Notion actually acquired the Cron Calendar app in 2022 and they haven't really done much with it since. There has been a newer feature added where you could create Notion pages for your meetings, such as for meeting notes or making travel plans, and that was a really great new feature, but it kind of unrolled quietly. They didn't do a big countdown for it or anything, and it's a good feature, but it's just a feature. So that's what makes this launch so strange and feels like such a disappointment. The biggest issue with this launch is that Notion has owned Cron for a while, and all of the features that they're announcing as new and all these cool things that I can do and all this fun stuff are things that Cron's been able to do for at least a year. That's how long I've used the app, and it's a fantastic app. I'm going to show you a little more about that in just a moment, but at the end of the day, it's just a calendar app. It integrates with only Google Calendar. You can't add Apple calendars or Outlook calendars to it. and it's a really good free scheduler, but it's nothing to write home about. I liked it for the clean UI and the fact that it did actually connect with Notion fairly well and I only use Google Calendar, so it was a great choice for me. There is really only one true new feature added to this actual launch and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But first, and perhaps the most obvious, is the rebrand. Cron Calendar is now Notion Calendar. There's a new logo, which is pretty and nice, but that's about it. When you open up Cron, or now Notion Calendar, but I'm going to refer to it as Cron just for the sake of this video, it looks great. I mean, it's a beautiful UI, it's easy to use, the scrolling and everything works great, it's easy to see all of your calendars, um, but none of this is new. This is the same Cron that we've had, and it looks fantastic, so I've been seeing a lot of comments of like, it's a beautiful app, it's so well designed, it has been. It's been for a while. So what Notion has truly launched and what is truly a new feature is the ability to now integrate your Notion databases within Cron. So I have added my task database, which is where I have like all of my school assignments, for example. And anyone who's tried to use the Notion calendar view on a database knows that it's really not very user friendly. So with this one, you can drag and drop your tasks from the all day events. You can set different durations on these. When you click in the calendar itself, you can choose to open it in Notion and view and edit it in there. This is really helpful for people who love time blocking or who just want to see a full look at all of their tasks within one calendar view. Now there's some issues with this. And the first one is that when you choose to open it in Notion, first off, I want to show you Here's my Notion app, open. I'm going to open this in Notion and it doesn't open in app. It opens in my web browser, which isn't horrible, but when I already have my Notion app open in the background, it should, in my opinion, open in its native app first and prioritize that over the web browser. Um, so that was initially really disappointing to see. Along with that is they still have not fixed that with their initial integration. So like I said, they already had this feature where this is just a calendar task here. Um, and if I click on docs and links, I can choose to create a Notion page. So let's create one. We'll call it therapy notes. It's going to go in my all notes database and it's created my page and attached it. That's awesome. Like I said, they unrolled that feature, I think a few months ago. It's been great. When I click on my notes though, it also opens in a web browser. Again, for a huge 17-day countdown, it seems like this would be a really simple fix just to make it 
a little smoother to use, especially because if people have both the Cron app downloaded and the Notion app downloaded to their devices, it should really work nice and seamless. It shouldn't be opening up web browsers at all unless absolutely necessary, in my opinion. So let me show you how to actually use this new feature and connect your databases, because that's the whole point of this video. First, we're going to go off to the side here, let's just for no changes, and we're going to choose to add Notion databases. You can also use the keyboard shortcut O. And let's say that I want to add my notes database into here. It's been added. It's truly that simple. And now I'm able to see all of my notes content, which I don't have a lot on my calendar, um, but you'll see it all load in. So I have, you know, my content calendar, my notes and my tasks all in here now. The other issue I have with this is that it's not super apparent initially, but you do need to have your database view set up in a calendar option to be able to connect it. So for example, if I have my project view here, and I want to add this database to my Notion calendar. I type in projects. It's not coming up, uh, not this page anyway. So what I have to do is go into my database and add a new view as a calendar. Once it's been added in there, there we go. Now it's showing up. So you may need to make sure that you have the calendar view enabled before you're trying to add everything because otherwise it just won't work for you. So the other addition to this is that when you are looking at a calendar view of any database now, you'll see the option to open in calendar, which will just open up that Notion app, Notion calendar app. This is okay, but I really would have preferred from a user standpoint if they had actually combined the Notion app and the calendar app into one native system. I don't love that these are still two separate apps, and I know that that's probably more of a personal preference, but when I'm in this view, I want to be able to open up my calendar and have it just open up like maybe on a side tab over here. But if I click on calendar new, it's just opening up my other app. The less apps I can run on my computer, the better it's going to be user experience wise. And so I don't love that, but I hope that maybe that's something that would change in the future. The other major issue I have with this is that although I love seeing all of my databases on my calendar, what I really needed was all of my calendar in my databases. And really there's no way to bulk integrate these directly into Notion without individually adding documents to every single event. And that's just not realistic for most people. I imagine that most people are going to continue to use Zapier and third-party services to be able to do things like this. So when you take all of that into account, Notion had a 17-day marketing campaign, which they accidentally leaked the final results. They hyped up a bunch of people to be really excited about something that no one really asked for. They took almost two years to actually use the business that they purchased. And then they only really launched one new feature. This was just a complete flop in every sense. And I do understand that from a developer side, when you're coding all of this in, this is a lot of work. I can recognize that this probably was a team effort and months long projects um, involving a lot of different aspects of the business. But ultimately from the user side, this doesn't change the day to day process for most people. It is a slight convenience that still doesn't really solve the native problem that everyone was asking for, which was a native calendar integration. This is essentially just a two-way sync, but you're still opening two separate apps and it basically does all the same things that we've been able to do with Zapier for years now. So as I said, if you've never used Cron before, I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of my favorite features in here. There are users and a ton of videos that talk about Cron in much more detail, so if you're interested in that, definitely look it up. But one of my favorite features in here is a scheduling option. So if you click S, that will give you a shortcut into the scheduling link. Basically what you can do is click on different windows, just click and drag, and it will add it to a schedule. And if you realize that you messed something up, like that, for example, you can adjust it. This scheduling link can then be shared and you can adjust it even after you've shared this link. So if I send this to my coworker and I wanted to schedule a meeting with them, and then maybe I realized that I could only meet until 
halfway through this day. I can shorten that and their link will update automatically before they make the appointment. So that will give them a real live view of my schedule. The other thing that this is really great for is Teams. So your team will be able to see and share different calendar availabilities, but some things you don't want your team to see. So for example, maybe for this therapy appointment, I don't want them to know all the details of this. So what I can do is right click and choose block on calendar and I can choose to have it just show as busy or include all the details. So I can choose just this event alone. I can choose an event in a reoccurring series and, or I can choose an event just from any of these calendars. So I can choose to show as busy and then all of the people that have access to that calendar won't be able to see specific details. They'll only be able to see that time blocked off. These are two really great features that I love. And I really do, like I said, I love Cron and I use it every single day. That being said, I am very disappointed with the lack of features that were unveiled with this big launch. I do hope that this will continue to grow and that they'll continue to add more features over time. I just really hope that Notion takes a lesson from this to not do massive countdowns like that. There's a marketing rule where you should always under promise and over deliver and Notion has done the exact opposite of that with this launch. I hope that they continue to listen to their users and grow and as bad as I think that this was unrolled, I will continue to use both of these apps and I am always happy to continue to provide Notion content. I make a lot of my money from Notion based content. I sell Notion templates, I make videos on here about this, I post on social media about it. So. I am by no means a Notion hater, but this was really poorly done and I really hope that they have learned their lesson and I do hope that people still enjoy this new feature regardless of how poorly the actual rollout was handled. If you are interested in checking out some more of my Notion content or some of my Notion templates, all those links will be in the description box and a few of the videos will be here. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts about how Notion handled this launch and I'll see you in the next video.